Hey everyone, I'm here today to take a look at the Mattel Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Baryonyx Grim from their Soundstrike range. Now the original Rorovors Baryonyx didn't have any articulation at the neck or tail there. It has the same arm and leg articulation, but it was kind of a solid piece all the way along. Whereas the new Baryonyx has the articulation at the tail and head that activates the sound feature. Whereas for the old Baryonyx, you just press the button on the back. Which would also make the mouth close. Which also always seems strange to me, that making him roar would make his mouth close. Do you think it would be the opposite? Pressing the button to make him roar would make his mouth open. So for articulation, you've got the arms that go forward and backwards, as well as out to the sides. The legs go out to the side slightly as well. They've got a bit of a swivel there, um, as well as going forward and backwards. But one thing I also like about this one is that the mouth will open and close as you want it to, it's articulated, whereas on the Rorovors version the mouth articulation was connected to the action feature so his mouth was constantly always hanging really wide open, like unnaturally wide open, so he'd have this kind of weird slack-jawed look and it would only close when you pressed the action feature on the back, um, whereas this one you can control how far you want the mouth open for posing, which is nice. Now for my Rorovors version, I actually put a little bit of thin clear plastic, um, I slid under the throat there, and that holds the mouth closed, so I can have it looking a bit better in my opinion, because I really hated that kind of slack-jawed look, because it would like hang completely open like that, sort of really unnaturally wide open. And I just always found it weird that, like I said earlier, you'd press the button and it would close the mouth while he was roaring, whereas surely the mouth should open as he roars. I think the only shared parts are the arms and the head and jaw seem like they're exactly the same sculpt, whereas the, the rest of the body is different, the tail and the torso, and also the legs are different, because on the original Roar of War, his right leg is facing forward, whereas on the new one, it's his left leg facing forward. The new Baryonyx has got this green paint job that goes down from the head down to kind of halfway down the torso, and it's a dark green, but then all of a sudden it goes to light green at the back there, which I find really strange. I don't really like that. I think it would have looked better if they'd have just kept the same green all the way down. I don't know why they really decided to have half of it light green and half of it dark green like that. Because um, it must have cost them more to paint it with two different colours than it would if they'd have just used the same green all the way down. It just looks like it was really odd to me that it would go from dark green to light green like that. But that green goes kind of halfway down the tail there. And then you've also got a bit of a creamy stripe along the side there as well. And then this red kind of bleed coming from the eye, which I'm not too keen on that either. That looks sort of odd to me too, uh, the way it's just a, a red bleed there. It looks a bit messy, a um, bit of a strange design. So I do, I do prefer the blue of the original Baryonyx, the Rorovors version, especially the metallic blue around the um, tip of his face there. I always thought it looked really cool. He's got kind of a dark blue for the most part down the rest of his body. Um, but it's just at the, the, the head there, there's that kind of metallic blue that I really like. I think the blue one in the show is called Chaos. And then the green one, the new one here is Grim in the Camp Cretaceous cartoon. Now to give you an idea of how different the sculpts actually are, if we look at them from the top here, you can see that the new mould has a lot more detailing on the back, a lot more scales, and it looks a, a lot more like a crocodile's back to me than the original one did. It's got a bit more of an intricate sculpt to all those um, scales as well. You can also see that the new Baryonyx is a bit thicker as well. It's got kind of a wider torso there than the original Baryonyx, which is a bit thinner. So it is nice that it is a new sculpt. I'm not so keen on buying the same toy over and over again, just repainted. I like building up a species, but I like them to be unique from each other and have like a, a unique sculpt from each other as well. 
Now sadly the front nails aren't painted, which is quite common in the Jurassic World toy line, but I think if they've got really long front nails it kind of shows up a bit more on the dinosaurs with, with uh, smaller nails. It doesn't bother me so much, but on Baryonyx here, because uh, his front nails are pretty long, it really stands out that they're not painted. Uh, and I've painted the original one I got years ago, back in 2018. You can see I painted them black there. So I probably will do the same thing with Grim. So I just think it looks a bit better. Because the nails on the feet are painted, but just not the nails on the hands. Now you can see on the original Baryonyx release, which is this one, um, the, ins the upper inside of the mouth is painted pink. Whereas on the new one, they haven't bothered to paint the upper half of the mouth. The bottom half with the tongue they have, which is much like the original there. Um, but the upper half, for some reason, they've missed out on. Which doesn't show up too badly because it is inside the mouth there, but it was nice on the original that they did put in that extra effort just to paint the top inside of the mouth as well. And you can see here on the bottom of the dinosaur how the sculpt is different around the speaker. On the originals they had those holes, whereas on the new one they have slits which kind of blend in a little bit better. And uh, then there's also the app codes if anyone wants them. They do look good together, especially after seeing them on the show. It was quite nice seeing a pack of them in Camp Cretaceous all together. I won't give away spoilers about what happens to Grimm. So that's my look at the new Soundstrike Baryonyx Grimm and the Rorivores Baryonyx as well, which I never did a review of originally, so it's nice taking a look at that one as well while I was out here. And uh, they do look really good together. It's nice to build up the species now and have a, a new unique Baryonyx sculpt, because that Rorivores one got repainted about five times, I think. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video.